Troubleshooting step number one, we need to rule out the possibility of BMS under voltage protection. Please measure the open circuit voltage of this battery. Then check out the ratings. If you have a 12 volts battery like this, if the rating is below 10 volts, that means the battery is in under voltage protection. But if you have a 24 volts battery, if the rating is below 20 volts, that refers the battery is in under voltage protection. If your battery is in under voltage protection, please follow the steps to cancel this protection. Step 1. Please ensure the ambient temperature is about 41 degree Fahrenheit. Step 2. Please disconnect all battery terminal connectors. Step 3. Please use a charger with lithium battery activation function to charge the battery to 12.4 volts for 12 volts battery or 24.8 volts for 24 volts battery or above. If the battery is not in under voltage protection, please proceed to remaining steps. Troubleshooting step number 2. We need to rule out the possibility of BMS low temperature protection. Please confirm whether the ambient temperature of the battery is below 32 degree Fahrenheit. If the answer is yes, so the battery is in BMS low temperature protection, please take corresponding measures. If the answer is no, please try remaining steps. Troubleshooting step number 3. We need to rule out the possibility of mismatched charger or charging parameters. Please check the charger's parameter settings referring to the provided image. If the charger parameters are incorrect or the charger is not compatible, Please take appropriate measures for example, exchange the charger or set the charging parameters correctly. If the charger parameters are matched and also the charger is compatible, please proceed to the remaining steps. Troubleshooting step number 4, we need to rule out the possibility of a faulty charger. If it is okay, please replace the charger for a cross-validation. If the result turns out that the charger is faulty, please replace the charger. If the charger is normal, we can determine this battery as a faulty battery. Please timely recharge the battery by charger with lithium activation function after the battery is over discharged. Troubleshooting step number one, we need to rule out the possibility of BMS low temperature protection. Please confirm whether the ambient temperature of the battery is below 32 degree Fahrenheit. If the answer is yes, so the battery is in BMS low temperature protection, please take corresponding measures. If the answer is no, please try remaining steps. Troubleshooting step number two, we need to rule out the possibility of mismatched charger or charging parameters. Please check the charger's parameter settings referring to the provided image. If the charger parameters are incorrect or the charger is not compatible, please take appropriate measures for example, exchange the charger or set the charging parameters correctly. If the charger parameters are matched and also the charger is compatible, please proceed to the remaining steps. Troubleshooting step number three, we need to rule out the possibility of a faulty charger. If it is okay, please replace the charger for a cross-validation. If the result turns out that the charger is faulty, please replace the charger. If the charger is normal, we can determine this battery as a faulty battery. We need to confirm the battery's lifespan. Please confirm whether the battery's discharge and charge cycles exceed the specified range in the manual and whether the usage period exceeds the warranty period. It's crucial to avoid the following two situations. First, prolonged deep discharge of the battery. Second, discharge current exceeding its maximum continuous discharge current. To identify this problem, we strongly recommend you to do a standby test and a capacity test. For a standby test, this will be the first step. Please charge the battery to full by a proper battery charger with proper parameters. For example, for a 12 volts battery, the VOC, which means the open circuit voltage, reaches 14.4 volts is considered as full. For a 24 volts battery, the open circuit voltage reaching 28.8 volts is considered as full. Specific standards can be found in the battery manual. Step number two for standby test, we need to exclude the main circuit faults. Please disconnect all connections on the fully charged battery and let the battery stand idle for two hours. Then check the open circuit voltage of the battery. If the open circuit voltage is below 13.4 volts, that means the main circuit of this battery is faulty. Please refer to the after sales process. If the VOC, which means the open circuit voltage is higher or equal to 13.4 volts, that means the main circuit is normal. Please proceed to step three of standby test. Step number three of the standby test. We need to verify the natural degradation of this battery. After completing step number two, Please keep the battery in its original state and continue to let it stand idle overnight. Ensure the ambient temperature around the battery remains relatively constant. 
If the battery VOC shows a significant change compared with the result in step number two, the battery will be judged as a severe capacity degradation. If the battery VOC shows no significant change compared with the result of step number two, please proceed to the capacity test. Step number one for capacity test, please find a resistive load with no power, for example, electric heater. Step number two for the capacity test, please use a fully charged battery to drive the above load until the battery triggers BMS under voltage protection, at which point the battery will stop discharging. Record the continuous working time of the load. Step number three for capacity test. In this step, we are going to calculate the power consumption by gathering the result of step number one and step number two. Please follow this formula, rated power times discharge duration. Then we can get the power consumption. If the power consumption is less than 70% of full capacity, judge this battery as a severe capacity degradation. Otherwise, the battery can be judged as a normal battery. For a single battery, please verify whether the following conditions are met. First, voltage difference. The voltage difference between the charger and the battery should be greater than 0.8 volts. Second, necessary current for heating film. Please make sure the charging device can provide a stable and a continuous charging current, and make sure the current is higher than 15 amps. Third, temperature conditions. The internal temperature of the battery is below 41.0 degrees Fahrenheit and above minimum operating temperature, which is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit below 0 degrees Fahrenheit of the heating film. If all the above conditions are simultaneously met, but the heating function is not activated, it is determined as a battery heating film malfunction. Please refer to the after-sales process. Otherwise, please ensure that all above conditions are met before retesting. For battery bank, please verify whether the following conditions are met. First, voltage difference. The voltage difference between the battery and the charging device should be greater than 0.8 volts. Second, necessary current for heating film. Please make sure the charging device can provide a constant and stable charging current, and it is recommended to be higher than 15 amps. Third, temperature conditions. Please make sure the internal temperature of the battery is below 41 degrees Fahrenheit and above the minimum operating temperature, which is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit below 0 degrees Fahrenheit of the heating film. Fourth, voltage difference between batteries. Please make sure the voltage difference between the two batteries needs to be higher than 0.8 volts to activate the heating film of both batteries. If all the above conditions are simultaneously met, but the heating function is not activated, it is determined as a battery heating field malfunction. Please refer to the after-sales process. If the above conditions are not simultaneously met, please ensure that all the above conditions are met before retesting.